Hello, I'm Jim Lampley. On November 27, HBO's World Championship Boxing presents a triple header on which the main event features Juan Manuel Marquez defending the lightweight championship of the world, a title he's held for a couple of years now, against hard-hitting Michael Katsidis of Australia, one of the most charismatic young fighters in boxing. Let's turn to Roy Jones for the beginning of a brief preview here. Roy, what's your take on Juan Manuel Marquez and what he has left in the latter stages of his career? You know, one man, one, Juan Marquez is a guy who has fought everybody. He fought all of the great fighters. He didn't care who it was, when it was, how it was. It was a fight to be fought close to his way pass, he fought it, including his last fight against Floyd Mayweather. How much did that take out of him? We don't know, but this fight we shall soon find out. All right. Uh, since the loss to Mayweather, Marquez has bounced back with wins recently over Juan Diaz. On the other hand, Max, as he gets ready to fight Michael Katsidis, he's fighting somebody who is clearly younger and much stronger. What must Katsidis do to make his strength the primary factor in the fight? Yeah, well, Katsidis, as you mentioned, is the brawler here, and so it's cliche. Well, the brawler has to turn it into a street fight. That usually means that guy, Katsidis in this case, doesn't have a huge shot to win. But in Katsidis' case, he did look, when he was first coming up, like a guy who was physically hard enough and, and strong-willed enough to actually oppose his, impose his physicality, uh, if you will, on fights. And he often did so successfully. Jim, as you mentioned, he also still may be young enough that if Marquez suddenly looks a little old, Katsidis can turn it into his kind of fight. It'll be the main event on an HBO's World Championship Boxing Triple Header, November 27, on which you'll also see welterweight Andre Berto against Freddy Hernandez and featherweight star Celestino Caballero against Jason Litzow.